48. Oh, they're spinning. Oh, Menard up and into Boyer, into the wall. Gets collected by McDowell. Oh, no, Keslowski no. crashes, and more cars are littered at the bottom of the racetrack. Guys, I think that somebody may have gotten loose, got either into Jimmy Johnson or he his car got loose and came down. Here comes Just Jimmy through the middle of the thing. melee. And I'm not uh, sure Jimmy has much damage. How about the 18? Two is two crashed. certainly does. We may have to list the cars that were not involved in this wreck. There might be less of them. Like Matt Benedetto. I think Bubba's, I don't know, Bubba was in trouble, but I don't think anything, I don't think the 19 of Suarez did. We're going to take a look at this uh, from the Goodyear blimp and want you to watch William Byron in the 24 and Jimmy Johnson in the 48 as this develops. Mike, this third turn has been a problem turn all day long. I've seen cars get loose getting into three all day long. It just, you can see us. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I, I think that's mm. the 48 as a right front fender. The 24 got close to the left rear. Just pushed that air in that left rear and brought it around. Wow. Greg Galding shoots the middle and makes it. Wow. And they just keep piling up. Wow. Unbelievable. You see Bubba there on the right of the screen. Don't think he hit anything. So you see the 24 starts coming up, starts coming up. Look, it just seems like the air changed and allowed that 48 to just get loose. Yeah, the 48 and the 24, I think the 24 may have gotten on the brakes and that caused his car to get loose. But I don't know what happened to Johnson. That thing just turned sideways. And I've seen that time and time again up there in turn three. Casey Kane shoots through the black car with the yellow number on top. What about and, that uh, wind direction over there has some kind of effect on the aerodynamics it, of these cars over there? You know what I think there. it is? I think they're going down that back straightaway so fast that when they get in a the third turn, the cars wiggle a little bit. Boy, great job by Ty Dillon getting that car slowed down. Saw it happening way out in front of him. His spotter obviously played a great role. Also keep an eye on. Oh, you can see Jimmy's oh, loose yeah, right there. He just turns down in front of the 24, and it's on from there. The 21 gets tagged. And the wind is blowing from outside the track directly across the right side of these cars. Look at Levin. Infield. Gets scoot right through there. Hamlin. Gets his lap back. Unbelievable. Kislowski up the hill and torn up. 34 of Reagan. Sorry about that, McDowell. Well, let's ride with Martin Truex, two laps down. This happens stop, way stop, in stop, front stop, of him. Stop, 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 low, low, low. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like Clayton it. Hughes, you're right. Just like stop. Just Great stop. advice. And we'll ride with A.J. Allmendinger. but uh, so far we have a list of 13 cars involved in that pileup in turn four. I guess Bubba did, did he? I can't tell if he uh, got... Austin Dillon hit him. Got a little damage, couldn't tell how much. There's Almendinger being pushed off. Jamie? Yeah, and the 43, just to update him, I looked at him when he came into the pit box. He had some damage on that left rear, and they checked the toe. They think the tires are okay, so they're just uh, looking at it, but they think they're okay underneath the car. Vince? Yeah, the 48 of Jimmy Johnson uh, communicating with the spotter Earl Barbin, and Earl said there was no contact. They think that just the, uh, the uh, car behind Jimmy had taken the air off of Jimmy's car, and that's...
That's what caused him to dart toward the center of the track. And you see uh, damage on the 24 of Byron. Also a little bit of damage for Jimmy Johnson, but they have looked at the car, inspected it, and they believe it's okay. No worse for the wear for the 48. Pit road open. And uh, no, we didn't see any contact no, no, either. Definitely not. And Jimmy just spins and comes down the racetrack. Right there, it starts to get a little sideways. Yeah, I got hit in the left rear. I don't know why, how I spun. What happened there? But that's what it, it feels like you've been yeah. hit. And the way that car, you would never expect the car to get sideways and lose control in the middle of the corner when it's loaded up in the banking. I, I, I've just seen that time and time again, particularly in the third and fourth turn. The cars just get a little loose. Guy's been able to catch them. That time it was just a slow kind of spin. The only thing I can point to are the flags outside turns three and four. That wind is coming up and over the wall, and it's hitting those cars straight on in the right side as they go into that area. Now, don't know how much effect that has, uh, but the wind direction is just like that, coming up and over. Well, what we certainly know is the air affects these cars a lot. And what we can't see, we can see the flags blowing. What we can't see is how the air moves around the front uh, fascia nose of that 24 car and what that air is doing to the left rear of Jimmy Johnson. As he comes up the racetrack, it just turns the 48. And I think it's because that air is deflecting over to the left rear, causing it to get loose. Yeah, these cars, are they have so much side force, those big flat sides, that when you start to disturb the air around those flat sides, the car gets out of control. I think that's what we're seeing. I think the wind's affecting a little bit. Air from the other cars a little bit. You put it together, and you're going to have a disaster like we just saw. We had Brendan gone to the list of cars and did a nice job getting through there as uh, William Byron's number 24 goes to the garage. Paul Menard getting carried off. His car, that is. And that's uh, A.J. Allmendinger. And, uh, and Mike, it's, it's not a big surprise. I, I think when the end of the race gets here and everybody's okay, I got to. I, I can't worry about how my car's handling. I got to try to get the best finish. I got to try to win this race. This is what's going to happen. You're going to have situations like this. Ouch. We're under caution with 19 to go. At least 13 cars involved in a turn four pileup been checked and released brad i'll start with you first it was a good run for you but what did you see there that put you out of the race yeah i just saw the 48 spin i don't know what happened to cause that but we lost our track position there and couldn't seem to get it back there on that last restart uh, so that was a bummer but uh that's that's the brakes here thanks brad getting ready to go green we'll hear from these guys if we have time we'll jump in with clint boyer clint i know you're looking at the replay right here what happened to you you had a problem early on and you guys are going to fight over the replay. Actually locked our right rear wheel up coming on the pit road and and um, flat spotted the tire. Had to come back in. Got two laps down and got back uh, one lap and then finally got on a lead lap. And then we wrecked. So uh, this wasn't our, wasn't our weekend, but things have been going good. I mean, it was the cars were extremely fast. All the Fords were fast like we knew they would be. And uh, uh, it's just a weird race. It really was from, you know, single file stuff to, to get them bunched back up and no tires, tires. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios out there and just wasn't our day. Thanks, Clint. And Paul Menard led his, won his first stage race. We're getting ready to go green. Paul, what did you see? Uh, the 24 and 48 just... The 24 got moved up, 48 was coming down, and they stopped. I, I got in at 24. Um, well, it kind of all came together right there. So really fast, motorcraft, quick lane forward. Um, you know, we, we got shuffled back, and it's so hard to make up ground. We, we got the bottom rolling again pretty decent and uh, just uh, just ran out of ran out of real estate, I guess. And William Byron has been checked and released, led 14 laps today at your first race here in a cup car. What happened? The other guys weren't really sure what led to this. Yeah, honestly, I think we just, I got side drafted going into three and got me a little bit free. And then I think I just packed some air on his left rear. I haven't seen a replay, so I can't really tell. But hopefully one of our guys can get it done. Uh, just kind of unfortunate that we can get to the end of the race, but had a pretty good race till the end. So we'll learn from it and come back here in the fall, hopefully have an even better run. Thank you. I don't know, but the nine.